any standout appointments there that surprise you or that you think look like a really good fit? Um, a, a couple of things, actually, and I thought what Darren was just saying is, 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 is right on the money. Um, the first thing is, is Kemi Badenoch, um, uh, I would see as a slight promotion. You know, yes. The Department for Business merges with the Department for International Trade, so she has assumed the business brief as well as international trade. I think that's a good move because you now have an economic department, the Treasury, setting out its economic growth forecast and what it does for government spending as a whole. Yeah. But also having a, a real department now that is going to be uh, looking at growing businesses as well as getting inward investment mm. into the country. It is a, a, a an increase in the powers there. Yeah. So, They've also given her a little bit of a side job, haven't they? They've made a Minister for Women Inequalities. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I, it's, it's it's a role that I think she's had previously, and it's that yeah. role in particular that seems to get shuffled around, whether it's in the Cabinet Office at the centre, but she's, she's maintained that there. There's some people who say, though, oh, we'll just give her the bit about the women, just give her the women's bit as well, that's not very important, but... Well, she's been very hard, you know, she's a, a tough talker and uh, she goes down very well with the Conservative grassroots because of her uh, stance, particularly she's on well equalities, liked. and she's very well liked. Mm -hmm. The only other standout, I think, uh, a couple of things, Lucy Fraser becoming the new Secretary of State, that's a promotion. I think I'm right in saying, although somebody will correct me, I'm sure there's plenty of people that have got access oh, to yeah. more technology than I Oh, yeah, our view is very good at correcting people. I think she's very currently, uh, currently sitting in the Department for Levelling Up, uh, the department I was formerly in, and I think she might have been um, uh, the Housing Minister, so we might need Lucy another... Lucy Fraser. Lucy Fraser, so we may need another Housing Minister. And that is something that uh, housing and planning is something that's hugely important to backbench Tory MPs in yeah. particular, getting those planning reforms absolutely right where there might be some uh, nimbyism in the past, but we need more homes in this country. So that'll be uh, one to watch. But I could be totally uh, wrong on that. Well, we'll correct, find but I'm out sure that's where she currently is. one of my is. minions in the back office to be looking into that as we speak, Charlie. <laughs> exactly. And, and <laughs> thank you. And of course, the department that she now takes over uh, as culture, media and sport, it used to be the department for digital culture, media and sport. We may be assuming that digital uh, finds itself into uh, Michelle Donnellan's new department, who was the former Secretary of State for Culture and Media Sport, in science, innovation and technology. Uh, Maybe the word digital is just old-fashioned Or ditched. Now. We've ditched digital. We've ditched, we've ditched the digital. Well, we very much haven't because they've started this new department, as you say, for science, innovation and technology. Rishi Sunak is at heart a technocrat. He will be loving this. He loves his AI, doesn't he? He loves the technological uh, move towards the future. So that, in a way, is not really a surprise that we've got that new department. One of our uh, viewers got in touch to say, you know, more, more departments, more civil servants, more money, more tax. But I have to say, looking at these, they seem quite quite smart decisions as, as a layperson looking at this. Exactly, and I think you're absolutely right. These reflect this, these new departments, the way that they're now set up, it reflects Rishi's priorities. And, mm. uh, and Grant Chap's just finally going to the Department for Energy Security and Net Zero. That's something that I know a lot of people have a lot of views about, racing to, to Net Zero. But it shows the ambition of the Conservative Party to you know, uh, be a compassionate Conservative Party that takes the tough decisions on the economy, on migration, but is also committed to Net Zero and making sure that we have new technology in place to make sure that we are more energy efficient and we have the energy sustainability in this country and we're not reliant on places like Russia because of all the crisis that we've seen in response to energy prices in Ukraine.